Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. In the previous episode we came to Cad Nua and we fought Mr. Merwald after a long dialogue. We learned some interesting stuff about our new condition, being a Watcher. Um, we got some kind of information about the lower levels that apparently this place has. And we also leveled up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out Mr. Merwald's grimoire here to see what kind of spells he has. And I think he does have a, a few things that are interesting to me. The Spirit Shield, I don't think it's particularly interesting, but it's only 100 gold, so I mean, why not, right? Um, Trust of Tethered Veils, I'm not sure if I will ever want to use this, given our other choices. This one's actually pretty good, man. Um, but, <clears throat> same reasoning, it's 100 gold, let's take it. Bulwark against the elements, 15 damage reduction to any kind of elemental damage. I think it's worth it, and Fireball we already have. So, with this done, go to the stash. Now, as for our level ups, I was looking at this before starting the video, and I think I'm going to start going for some survival here, and maybe some stealth. Just to allow us to, you know, <clears throat> sometimes get a little bit closer to the, enemy, to the enemies without getting spotted. And this here is actually a pretty tough choice, in my opinion. Um, all of these specializations I don't really care about, because they're mostly just more damage. Confident aim is cool, but also not as interesting for me, um, for me as a tank, I don't think. This one is cool. It's one per encounter, 20 accuracy for 15 seconds. This will allow you to, you know, really hit those important knockdowns. Guardian Stance is model. And I'm, I will be wanting to play with Defender most of the time, so I'm not going to pick this up. And then we also have Into the Fray. So my big decision here is between Into the Fray and Vigorous Defense. I'm going to start with this one, actually. So this one, what it means is... Once per encounter, for 15 seconds, we get an additional 20 points to all of our defenses. And by all of our defenses, it means all of our saving throws, I guess I can call them that, as well as deflection. And 20 extra deflection, as well as pretty much making us, you know, not immune, but very resistant to any other kind of effect, is quite a nice effect to have. However, into the fray, the fighter lunges through the battle, pulling an enemy into immediate melee range, causing pierce damage and leaving them dazed. So you have two uses per encounter, with a range of 5 meters. And what this does is, as, just as it said, it deals some damage, kind of irrelevant, but it also pulls enemies into Adair's range. This is very useful if somebody decides to disengage and start going after my people, like go after my rogue, or after my wizard, or after my my cleric. Uh, and I think I'm actually going to take into the fray here. Naturally, and this is very, very, very good. But I think I'm going to go for the utility and try to make sure that he stays alive on his own. <laughs> uh, might be a wrong decision, but I think both of them are very good. I'm just going to start with this one. I will take the, uh, take the other one later on. It there is done. Mr. Kana, uh, same thing, we're going to give him some survival, and that's it. Now, as for our phrases, n there are some uh, cool things here. Sure-handed Ila is going to give us 20% reload speed and 20% range attack speed, which is quite good for gunners, as well as my, my character as well, using his bow. Um, this one doesn't matter. Uh, minus 10 accuracy against disengaging enemies. Doesn't matter. Uh, Ryman Frost. This one I don't fully understand. Allies leave a hazardous trail of frost wherever they move, hobbling and causing freeze damage. It looks like every time I chant one of these, my allies are going to drop a trap on the floor. I think this is what it means. <laughs> it's kind of weird. 
it, it could be good, but it doesn't say how much damage it deals, how long it lasts, so kind of poor information. One doesn't stood against the power of the saint. This will give us extra defenses against frightened and terrified, which is cool, but also very specific. And then we have low their endless host, the Harbinger's Doom. This will give us a fo uh, an aura of frightened, making everybody frightened. It will lower their resolve and dexterity as well as their accuracy. So I think this is the one we're going to take, especially since his role for now is going to be as a tank. Well, for now and later on as well. This is our choice. Done. As for my priest here, we're going to go for... Uh, I could give him extra survival, try and go around, because nothing else really matters, honestly. Except maybe some scrolls. Uh, survival... Eh, sure, get some lore. And we get level 3 priest spells, which are very, very good. My turn? <laughs> I look so sexy. Just, just, you can't deny it, right? It's, it's sexy beast. Look at the cloak flapping in the wind. Yes. Um, I will want to give him some survival here because I really want to reach level 4 for the extra accuracy and then we'll just pump points into mechanics and stealth as usual. Now here, there's a couple of choices. We have Crippling Strike, which is the same thing we could get at the start of the game. Two per encountered, hobbled, full attack, not bad. Reckless Assault, it's only melee, don't care about it. Escape. I actually like this one quite a bit, but it's it's purely defensive, right? So this says you get 25 extra de uh, deflection, 25 extra reflex for 12.5 seconds, but this really isn't the important thing here. The important thing is you dive to a specific location. And I think this is what we've usually seen in Redrick's Hold, where enemies are kind of blinking on top of us. That's what escape does. So it's a pretty cool defensive ability for maneuvering. I, If I can, I will take this later on. We have finishing blow, which if I take, it will certainly not be right now. <laughs> this is only two per rest. So it's very, very low resource. Uh, full attack has five bonus accuracy and it deals plus 50% damage and plus 50% damage by percentage of endurance lost. So this is, like it says, it's a finisher. Repose, this is mostly if I was playing like a, a melee rogue. <clears throat> and Deep Wounds, I think is the one that I'm going to take here. This is a passive ability, which means that every hit we do is going to cause our targets to start bleeding for raw damage over a period of time. And I think out of all of these, this might be the best DPS increase right now. So we're gonna go for Deep Wounds. That's done. And finally, we have Mr. Aloth here, who is gonna be taking, I mean, probably also survival, right? Survival point, maybe go, up, go around. And... That's it, I think. Okay, so now, for level 3 spells, we have picked up a couple of them. I think mostly damaging. We have a fireball and we have a lightning bolt. So I think I want some more utility stuff, or something that gives me more consistent damage. Let me just give me a second here. And I think my, there's actually a lot of good choices on level 3. Arcane Dampener will dampen any kind of beneficial effects on opponents, but they do need to fail their save. Arduous Delay of Motion, 30% attack speed penalty, move penalty on a, um, a foe AoE, so quite good as well. This one is just a target drain. Eh. This one is a big one. Galaterius Alacrity of Motion. This is for the caster only, but he gains 50% extra attack speed for 40 seconds at the cost of some endurance lost over time. 
and it also gives us a move speed. The move speed eh, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> this is the the big stuff here. Exposed vulnerabilities also cool AOE foe lowers their damage reduction, their deflection, and their concentration for 26 seconds. And it targets Will. By targeting Will, this makes it a very nice spell to cast on, on you know, frontliners that go up against your tanks. Quite good. Kek Calicot's Minor Blights, I also like this one very much. For 78 seconds, or until you swap weapons, you are going to start shooting... Uh, balls of energy which deal burn, freeze, corrode or shock damage to anyone caught in the area of effect. So this is also an AoE and I think this stacks with Blast. So it's a very good, uh, good ability. Landgrad's Displaced Image, awesome, awesome spell. 25 deflection, 20 reflex, 50% off hits, convert to grazes for one minute. But it's, it's mostly if you're playing a, a melee mage here. Minoletas says Bounding Missiles. It's actually quite cool. You deal some damage to a, to a single target and then it bounces onto other targets. Noxious Burst, AoE, Corrode Damage and Sickened, Poison, to anybody that gets hit by it. And finally we have Ringrim's Repulsive Visage. This is a... How does this work actually? It's on the caster, right? The caster's face becomes a nightmarish mask of rotting, insect-infested flesh or other images of unspeakable horror, compelling all nearby foes to become terrified or unsickened. But this is based on the caster, so 1.78 meters radius from the caster. So I don't intend on fighting close to my foes, so not really good for me. So, <clears throat> what are our choices here? We have, we have a very nice pickup here in Deleterious Electricity of Motion and Calicot's Minor Blights. This would give me a lot of um, sustained damage over a period of, let's say, 40 seconds, just blasting people in the area. Or I could go probably for the maybe better choice in Exposed Vulnerabilities to make sure that my... The, the people in the front line are getting hit hard. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to take these two. I don't have a lot of space probably for this one in terms of um, in terms of spells per rest. So maybe these two will be more, you know, <clears throat> more efficient. That's my choice. Okay. Let's see what lies this way. Now, let's explore this area. The sickly sweet smell of rot rises from this half-eaten fruit. A worn book lies on the table, its pages filled with nonsensical scrolls. And in terms of lore bits, that's it. I'll see it done. It's finished. Okay, some gold. Or copper, there's whatever. There's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. More gold. Can I wait that older said? I don't want to discuss it. <laughs> Elot speaking to his other voice. Nice. Oh, a beetle. Oh, a fine war bow. I think this is a better pickup for me. Wait, wait, wait. And the war bow, I think, is the weapon I'm going to be using <clears throat> for most of the game. Let me just compare this. Yeah, 18 to 28. It shoots slower, and it's enchanted the same way as my fine hunting bow. Okay, so we're gonna stop for this one. It's harder hitting. I like it more. Okay. Well. Woo. Okay, so we have wood beetles here, and we have spooders over here. So spooders, I'm not very worried about. We just send Mr. Eder up the front. Can I shoot like the largest one? Oh God. Well, I'm still firing at them. And do I want to swap my chance here? Nearly forgot that. Make them all fear me. Fortitude and will. I guess I can cast one of each. Or I'll just swap this one. 
For this one? I think so. Okay, I like this. Did it save? It saved. Pull! Yes. Pew! Okay. So we are firing at these people <clears throat> near death. Eloth, you... Oh, you already have your spells. That's cool. Okay, just shoot over here. Painful interdiction on everybody in the area. Swap your weapon, please. You are gonna keep shooting. Shooting. Okay. Okay, everybody has the interdiction. Let's just throw out some books. I'll also have to go over my, my priest spells, I forgot. Why am I not hitting anyone with my books? That's kind of weird, man. Okay, keep fighting. Yes. Not to alarm you. Kill them all. Okay, good damage. Shoot. Yeah, they're all frightened. Yeah, I like this from Kana. Quite good. Get closer, eh? even. Fight. Blind. Nice shot. He's frightened, blinded, and bleeding. I like it. I like it a lot. And they are all dead. <clears throat> what do we have? We have some ingredients. I shall be discreet. Oh. Was is das? Ring of seeding flames. Grants combusting wounds. What does this oops? What does this do? Foe AoE. Five burn damage over time when dealt damage for 20 seconds. This is and this is kinda weak isn't it it does seem weak okay you take that that's fine sorry uh, just talking with my wife <laughs> she is confused about something okay let's continue Cobblestones and bricks are bound to the rusted old cart by thick spider webs. Oh, oh Zorips as well. well. There's a couple of them. <clears throat> There's a priest even. Oh man, can I blow up this priest? <laughs> Let's see if we can. Turn off fast mode. Well, Mr. Priest. Hello. Well. Blam! I love it. I, I love it. <laughs> uh, swap to melee. Go fight. Okay. Uh, okay, he's going for him. Okay, I might need to pull that guy. We'll see. No, I think we're fine. Book, book, interdiction, just kill. Swap to your bow. Yeah, I like I like the frightening a lot. Okay. Oh, heavy iron key. This heavy iron key has an Adiran stamp upon its handle. The handle is coated with a rough layer of rust, and the rest is kind of just irrelevant loot. And here we have a staff and a tongue. This wall, I don't know what it is. A shimmering wall of energy extends across the doorway like a curtain. It repels forward movement with a natural force. And what does the flame Interesting. Mean? Perhaps the voice in that throne upstairs knows more. Okay, I get the hint. 
We also have that area to explore through. More spiderlings. I'm not worried about spiders at all. But I'm still not going to be fighting like an idiot. I'm going to play this smart. Uh, so, we're going to pull. And everybody else is going to stay ranged. I need to give Kana uh, the, the pike again, I feel. <clears throat> I think it's better. I, I like this, but... I think I need to do this. I kind of wish he had another <laughs> weapon slot. God damn it. Um, okay, so let's Follow pull whomever right. is closest, okay. like this guy. 13 damage, amazing. Okay. And just shoot this one. It's fine, that's fine. Okay, badly injured already. Swap. Oh yeah, we did get this. Speaker to the Restless, 2 per rest, 3.25 meter radius, 4 AUE, Frightened. Ah, oh, okay, so this is <laughs> this is kind of sucky compared to what Kana has. Okay, whatever. Well, no, 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 swap to this. That's one down, don't move, let them come to me. Let's hit them with an interdiction and just keep fighting. Good. Okay. Okay, keep at it. Hi. Following you. I'm even forgetting to use my invocations. Uh get a phantom. need to play in slow mode here honestly just smack leave it to me nice shot leave it to me good okay following your let me put you back with your gun yes hey and what does the stone beetle i think those are tough as nails man Sword, wood beetle, okay, so, where do I want to fight this? I think there's a couple of them that burrow, and that can be annoying. Hey, let's, well. let's just kind of see how they play out with Adair, and then I'll just adjust if needed. Yep, he's blinking. Oh, interrupted him. That's fine. All right then. Are you coming at me? Yep, he is. Let's knock him down. Everybody over here, shoot the bitch. Okay, good damage. I'm gonna get a little bit closer just for the frightening AOE. Swap to my bow. You're trying to knock him down. Let's blind him, let's book him, and let's interdiction them. Shoot. Okay, he's blinded. Keep fighting at him. Deep wounds. Okay. Okay, pretty simple so far. He is poisoned, dealing raw damage over time. That can be a little bit annoying, but nothing we can handle. Okay, so a lot of enemies in this region. We picked up a beetle shell. Cool. Of course. Hey. Oh, there's a corpse. Uh, 
Lockpicks. Hello, Mr. Spooder. More beetles here. I think I'm gonna close the door and deal with these spiders before going over there. Uh, you are fine. You are fine. Everything is fine. Following your lead. Hmm. I don't think I need a choke point. Hmm. Let Let's see if I regret this. There's quite a few of them. Okay, go. That one is destroyed. Let's keep shooting. Painful introduction. As usual, our books. You are gonna shoot that one with a blind. You are gonna shoot that one with whatever. I'm getting closer, as I said before, just for the the frightening aspect. But I'm gonna have to tank here. Move back. Okay. Focus on this one. Yes. Okay. They're frightened. Let's get a phantom. And just kill. Pretty good, my friends. Pretty good, I gotta say. Get the loot. Ah, yes. Let us explore this area here. Another stone beetle. I'm gonna pull it with it there. And we're gonna fight at the door. He's gonna blink through. Oh, and they are throwing poison crap. Let's see if we can damage this guy quite a bit here. Uh, you can just go tank. Not tank, just strike from behind. Uh, I think this could maybe warrant a fireball in this area. Well, the, the range is really short. Okay, we're gonna blind that guy. Painful interdiction as usual. Good luck, Eloth. Whee! I like the fireball effect. Looks quite good, man. Uh, so, I want the books over here. Let's... Oh, what did I click? No, book. Uh, I was gonna say, let's use the ring. This is full AOE 185. Cast it there. For you. Okay, they are all burning for a long while actually. So every hit from Aloth is gonna trigger the fire damage as well. That could be very interesting. Yeah, it does. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, look at that! Well, I am convinced about this spell. Whee! Nice! Well, a good ring to pick up. That's for sure. These small amounts of damage sometimes don't seem worth the pickup, you know, like the ring does very low damage, why should I do this? Hello. But it does add up, Hello. and it's for every single hit. It doesn't matter how hard it is. Okay, another box. Oh, looter, humans, I see. Now, I usually, when I play these kinds of actually any kind of game, let's be honest, the, the enemies I prefer to have are very usually human enemies. Or, you know, sentient people, not, not just monsters and demons. I like fighting, in this case, humans, Omawa, uh, Orlans, Elves, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I, I am excited about fighting those humans there. 
Okay, I have uh, a choke point that back there if I need it. Let's blow up this ivory spinner very quickly. What is it? Just wait until everybody is reloaded and stuff. And let's shoot. Leave it to me. Okay, go my leg. Everybody else back up. Oh, you bitch. I did not remember that. She's casting a web, that's fine. Okay, I think I'm gonna start by using my Calicots here. To have some nice sustained damage, as there are a lot of enemies in this region. Uh, I'm gonna send him to tank as well, just because I don't want Adair to take all of that on top of him. Okay, ooh god. Okay, dude, you gotta you gotta live through this, okay? We're gonna blind the Spider Queen with our bow before I forget. Okay, he's still casting his things. Now shoot. Let's get the ring again. There's a lot of tiny enemies here, so this would be a good spot to use it. Following your lead. Okay. Dazed mm, didn't do much. Heal up. Let's get some pain resistance here. Okay. We're gonna start having some good damage here. Okay, you just focus on the queen. Okay, and now let's take a little time here to check out our level 3 spells. Circle of Protection creates a large zone of... Divine Shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses, 15, including Deflection. We have Despondent Blows, which will make our enemies have less 15 accuracy. Crits are converted to hits, quite good as well, especially against slower hitting enemies. Dire Blessing, hits convert to crits, very good. Long, last a long time as well, 40 seconds. Pillar of Faith, Crush Damage. Foe AoE prone. Awesome, awesome spell. Prayer against restraint, immunity to hobbled and stuck. Quite good as well. Just generic healing. Warding seal, hazard AoE, 45 to 56 shock damage. Uh, I'm not really sure how this works. I think it's probably only hits one enemy, maybe. And we also have watchful presence. Friendly AoE. 39.2 endurance when endurance falls below 20%. Okay, so this is like a, a pre buff, let's say. What can I do here to help us out in terms of dealing with this? At the moment, she's kind of focused on it there, so we are fine. Maybe I should just go for some AoE damage. Okay, let's see. Let's actually fall back a bit so that they don't come for us. Let's burn the okay, you stick with her. And you throw in the largest heady you can hit. Okay, that, that's, that's very good damage from the Calicots orbs. She's even kind of confused. She doesn't know where to go. Yeah, man, look at these shots, man. Okay, everybody focus on her. Not to alarm you. You are fine, Eder. She's casting something. Biding web. Whatever. What? Oh, she hurts. What a bit. Oh. What a bitch. Okay. I see how this is. Okay, let's kill her quickly. Uh, I should even get a phantom. I forgot. <clears throat> it will flank and stun and deal damage. Why not? Yeah, lady. Oh, God. You're taking a lot of damage here. Heal! You two focus on her. Hey. Okay, good healing. Where are you going? Ah. So. I'm interested in trying to... Oh, you poor lady. You are dead. Never mind. I was thinking about debuffing her, but there's no point. <laughs> she just died. Weathered than covered with dull patina, this elaborately carved pillar appears far older than the surrounding structure. 
course. Okay. This enemy was much, ooh, much easier than I expected. Nice. Oidre, Oidrecht, Oidrecht. Okay, Stiletto. 3D R bypass, 20% of damage resorted at endurance. Not bad. Damaging one, 15% damage. Okay, it's kind of, it's kind of so whatever it is. We have a way to go up, apparently. What is this? This is a large uh, other stone thing. Looks like a hand. Okay, I'll go there soon. I think that just takes me up to the exit. Or to the surface, I should say. I have this room to... Ah, I cannot go there. Sure. We have this room to cover here with some looters. I'm not expecting them to give me any kind of trouble. But you never know. So I think I'm actually gonna, gonna come over here. And have this choke point here. Okay, so it there, you're gonna right. pull them up. How many are they, by the way? Oof. One gold pack knight in looters. I don't think any of them are spellcasters. Which makes me less concerned. What I am concerned is if somehow they slow me. Leave it to me. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Ow, I got shot. Okay. <clears throat> let's hold right there and let's start by getting some chill fog over there. You're gonna swap to your shooty pistol for now. You are gonna cast a painful interdiction and I will just start shooting random people. Maybe this guy. How may I help? Okay, we're good. Two archers. That's okay. I am gonna go with you know what? I'm gonna go with some more combustion over here. And after ah, that's I done. There we go. We're gonna go swap to our pike, which I think is gonna be better than what we're currently doing. And we're gonna cast a Pillar of Faith on this guy in the middle. Because the knockdown only works on the people around. And I'm gonna start shooting that guy. This guy, good damage. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go for some more. Ah, this one is very... Need to be very close. Okay, it's fine. So much. Wait, did it cancel my spell? I think it cancelled my spell. Injured, injured, barely injured, injured. Uh, where is the knight? There it is. He's burning. Yes, he's burning. Yeah. Okay. Book. More book. How may I help? And done. We're gonna get a phantom to say hi to these guys in the back. Let's not. No, he's almost dead. Just kill him. Hello. Okay, let's knock him down. Wait, did he die? <laughs> he died. Okay. Let's just wait for the chill fog to dissipate. Can I shoot from here? I can. <laughs> Dead. Yes, my friend. There we go. Okay, so I think pretty much this entire level has been covered. Really? That's it? They only drop like their helmets and wheat? <laughs> and drugs, okay. A corpse. 
Okay. So this entire area, with the exception of this weird door, has been covered. Let's go over here. And I believe this just takes me to the surface. Where we've already been. And I also think that we can now unlock the way into Defiance Bay. And if that's true, there's a couple of very nice pickups we have to do there to improve our overall performance. Yep. Bit just Here like we are. Reach a scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. Oh, I can speak to Eder and him. Eloth seems lo a lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? Are you alright? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. Mm -hmm. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you have an uncertain future ahead. Well, there's no point in speculating now. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. I want to discuss something else. Any thoughts on what I should do next? Maidwald urged you to seek out these laden key agents in Defiance Bay, yes? If his condition is any warning, we should find them with all haste. Okay, that's all. And it there. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. You ha you said you had some things you wanted to ask him. Nah, uh, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea my head is off. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know. Years. At least I got that out of it. What was it? All right. Yes, fair is fair, and... He did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he turned against us and fought for Widewin. Been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do too. It was right. Hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. It didn't seem right what Widewind had in store, but if he really was Aethys, hmm. I thought maybe this whole Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. It's not dumb. Why didn't you ask me for help? I guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a Watcher. Fair enough. <laughs> of course I knew the truth deep down. A Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea and the idea made me feel a certain way and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to find out about my brother I shouldn't be starting with Watchers. I should be starting with Records. So why don't you? If there thinks a moment, his lips twisted to one side, he raises his eyebrows. If there was anything written down about it, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. <laughs> I'd feel better with you in there with me. Okay, dude, I'll go with you. Hey. I like it there. I think he's a nicely built character. So I will help him. Also, hey. on a side note, I love how flails look in this game. With their dangling physics there. It's very, very cool. Okay, guys. So that's it for now. We had a, a nice long episode here clearing out the first level of Cadnua. We learned some stuff. We picked up some cool items. And hopefully we can get access to Defiance Bay, maybe even to Durwood Village. That would allow us to pick up some gear and also our final companion. 
So, as always, thank you so much for being here with me in the channel, watching some Pillars of Eternity. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified about other videos coming to the channel, feel free to subscribe. It's a free and easy way to support my channel. It helps me out. And videos are coming out every single day. So, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, everyone.